Shemai, this is a chord drill for the key of D major. Now, because the chord drills are in key signatures and songs are in key signatures, very often the chord drill chords will match up to a particular song. Okay, so they're a great way of practicing your chord changes. So I'm suggesting a strum pattern, the island strum, down, down, up up down up but as always it is entirely up to you what strum patterns you practice it with the play along it'll go through it three times start slowly and gets faster so let's take a look at the chords d to start with so it's second fret g c and e strings i normally put my one two three on it but lots of players put two three four Okay, entirely up to you which one you do. The next chord is a B minor 7. Now, if you notice, there's a bar going across the fretboard. Okay, that means play it with just one finger. So it's second fret, okay, on all the strings. Press your first finger across it, so it should look like that. Okay. So B minor 7. All right. Now, if you've just been playing a D, you might find it easier to actually tuck your little pinky and play it that way, okay? But you do need to be able to practice your B minor 7 as a bar chord. Okay, the other two chords, it's a G chord. So first finger, second fret on the C string. Middle finger or second finger, second fret on the A string. And your ring finger or third finger on third fret on the E string. There's your G. And the last chord is an A chord. So it's first finger, first fret on the C string and second finger or middle finger, second fret on the G string. There's our A. Right, I'll let the play along take over. drill has helped and um, we often use these at the beginning of a session in ukulele club in school they're a great way of warming up your fingers before you start playing go back over practice and practice okay that's the way to make your chord changes really smooth also don't forget you can slow these videos down click on the settings that little cog below and then you can slow the video right down if you're finding the chord changes too fast for now if you've enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give us a like. Um, feel free to leave a comment below. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. Thank you for watching.